I'm Michael Hendricks, the Learning and Development Manager for Height Vision North America, and today we're going to be looking at some installation of our G-Series camera product. The G-Series camera product uh, does cover the entire range of uh, Value Performance Series, our Professional Series, and the Deep in View Series of cameras. The G-Series camera products, which you can see on the screen, have an integrated back box and have a different style of mounting instruction. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. We have the accessory package. We have the mounting plate, the camera housing, the camera and dome bubble. As we look at the bottom of the camera's housing, you can see that there are five rubber plugs. Each rubber plug is only designed to have one cable pass through at a time. And uh, you can see we have the network cable, the audio in and audio out, the alarm input and output cable, and finally the auxiliary power. So now we're gonna take a closer look at the camera's actual housing. And in the housing, you can actually see there's these rubber plugs or rubber stoppers. Uh, they are completely, um, there are no holes in, in them right now. And uh, as we take a closer look at the rubber plug, which helps us to keep the water out, uh, you will see that there is an inner circle inside the plug that the wires must be passed directly through the center. And so we'll be using a special tool to do that. So this is the special tool that is included in the package. Uh, this uh, tool is designed to help us pass the network cable uh, through that center hole or center ring of the rubber plug. And uh, let's take a closer look at how this is done. So before we go ahead and puncture the rubber stoppers on the bottom, I just wanted to make a small note. If we're looking at the actual network cables, it is much easier to pass a manually terminated network cable through as opposed to a factory made network cable that could have a jacket and or clip protector. Uh, so one is definitely smaller than the other and uh, so it is recommended to use a manually terminated network cable. So now we're ready to insert the network cable through the rubber gasket and we're going to go ahead and put on our special tool and it should clip right into place. And we're going to take our base and we're going to find and align with the center. And if you look on the inside, you can actually see the tool start to push out through the center. So now I know my network cable is in the proper alignment and proper position, and I'm going to continue to push it through. It does take a little bit of muscle to get through this and so you can push it ever so firmly through the center and then if you look on this side you'll be able to uh, just kind of wiggle and pull the network cable out there we go just a little bit you can see the jacket or the center pin is firmly placed around the edge of the network cable and we don't want to pull the network cable out too far, maybe approximately two and a half, three inches. After you have pushed the network cable through and any of your other cables, we are ready to actually put the camera body inside the housing. And during this process, I want to make sure that you pay close attention to the actual rubber gasket uh, that is at the base here. We want to make sure the rubber gasket is firmly on the edges and we want to make sure that the rubber gasket is also free of dirt, dust, and kind of debris uh, to keep and maintain the best IP66 level. So as we take a closer look at the base of the camera, there are some wire guides for some of the additional wires on the base of the camera. And uh, when you're ready to finally install the network cable, uh, you can plug the network cable into the base of the camera. and we will align the base to the bottom of the housing so that it fits nice and snug and we're going to attach the screws and one of the last things that's going to help us maintain that high level of IP66 is the rubber seal or the rubber gasket on the dome bubble. So this also 
uh, a little bit flexible. We want to make sure this is firmly placed around the actual dome bubble itself and that there's no dust or other debris. And uh, then we have to align the camera or align the, the dome in the proper position here. And when you finally secure the, uh, the screws on the actual uh, camera itself, it should be firmly in position.